welcome back to another relentless recap what a day what a crazy day of some ridiculous volatile momentum i hope you guys all did well but guys i haven't done a recap in this format in a really long time today we got to talk a little bit about some merch right now we are making progress we are testing out some quality and so just know that the relentless trading merch will be out soon as we are quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers so stay tuned hit that thumbs up button and let's just jump right into that recap all right guys let's jump right into it amv stock of the hour stock of the day i mean it, it was incredible up 267 percent the market has been hot ever since december and right now we're just continuing on this just incredible run you know there were moments and points in time where i felt like man it slowed down but you know just like that you know stock would come along and remind us that hey momentum is still here and it's still going good look at this abcd here right i mean not not to ignore the first move but you know low of 608 and then we had a low of 592 beautiful it does make a lower low usually we're looking for a double bottom or higher low but you know essentially a double bottom being that we're, we're didn't, we didn't break down by a lot this thing rips over 874 and just takes off 13 uh just 1130 currently at 1048 so pretty impressive uh for amv pretty impressive indeed now where did relentless trader go wrong relentless trader was watching certain key setups around 12 p.m and then even around 12 15 you know, you'd like to think relentless man how are you read on such a beautiful breakout and then pull back and, and clean move the issue guys was the spreads a stock like this would if, if you know and this is a seven dollar stock six dollar stock four dollar stock earlier today three dollars if it would trade like a three four five six seven eight nine dollar stock it wouldn't be a problem but you know we'd push 750 the bids are down there i don't know at 690 like just madness like just stuff that's just ridiculous okay maybe, maybe that's a little too extreme but the point is there are some huge spreads you know we'd go from 420 up to 430 440 and then the bids flushing down to 420 410 just it felt like the downside risk was just as high as the upside potential, but we were trending upwards. But it was a tricky one, man, tricky one. For those of you who did really well on it, congratulations. I unfortunately lost money, and this was a very small size. That was AMV, you know, from a low of 226 to a high of 1130. Absolutely incredible, and this exactly is why we trade small cap stocks. You know, people say, why trade small cap stocks and, and not trade large caps, right? It, it's not that one is necessarily better than the other, but these stocks are cheap, which means it requires less equity, less capital, less cash to be able to trade, right? That's the first thing. Now, the second thing is, you know, a company like uh, Microsoft, you know, Apple, some of these big blue chip stocks, they're not going to move 276% in one day. You know, that's not how it works. And so, while you can make a lot of money trading the stocks outright, you know, let's not include options in, in, in this conversation. You can make money trading large cap stocks outright, of course. Uh, it's all relative, right? Those stocks are, you can say, a little bit more liquid, a little bit more safe at times when it comes to flushes and those type of things but you know there's a pro and con right pros and cons and this is one of the things about small cap stocks that are so good is that we can go from 226 to 1130 and you know technically if your account is at 25,000 just at pdt and you're in this thing and you capture this entire move i mean how good are you looking right and my goal every day is to never you know well not, let's not say never my goal isn't really to capture the entire move. My goal is to just come and take small portions. Can I can I take, you know, this and then can I take that? Can I take this? Maybe a little something here. And you know, can that add up to 50 cents? A dollar a share, $2 a share. We went from 226 to 11.30. Can I capture $2 a share out of that move? Uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't on this particular one and I I uh 
you know, I gave back. But moving on, BIOR, this is one of the other stocks that I did trade and did get to capture a little bit of the move. We went from, uh, you know, and, and this one was continuation, by the way, from yesterday. Another example of an impressive move from 221 up to 940. 940, it dips down here to a low today of 517 and it pushes up to a high of 711. And I was able to capture profits in these areas here as we were curling up and I made a little bit of money on the pullback, I believe, as well. So, you know, not bad. And we can go on the show trades uh, just so we can see where some of those entries are coming in. Right, we made the bulk of our money on this green move. And you see how it's a little messy. That's why I don't usually keep it on screen. But yeah, anyhow, we attempted some early entries for Hive Day. It's having a hard time. We're red. And again, we tried it over here. We're red again. It rejects VWAP. We even gave it one more attempt. We made a small gain here in a 36 out of 42 for the breakout. But over here, once we gave follow through, is where we were able to, you know, capitalize. It gives a nice move. So from VWAP, which was at 634, we go to 7, what was it, 768? I think I said 711. So 768 was actually the high. And uh, from there, we pulled back. It does a lovely pullback and curl. We made a little bit more of something here. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't, you know, strong enough to continue higher. I thought we were going to see a wedge. You know, if we want to look at this like this, getting tighter into the wedge. And can we see the break out? Instead, we saw the break down. So we, we would have wanted a green candle, you know, of this same proportion going like this to the upside, right? Can we have a green candle looking like that? And, you know, we pushed to $8. Well, that was not the case. But, you know, this one was good. The, the, the only bad thing with these stocks were that, you know, the spreads, man, for, for cheap stocks, lower float, uh, and the float is not so low to where it's like below 1 million. Like we're, we're seeing floats of like 8 million, 15 million, that type of thing. And these stocks are trading with so much downside risk. You know, usually we want limited downside risk, high upside potential. The good news is that they were trending upwards. But still, you know, for a pretty cheap stock at $5, we would see 550 and then it would drop down to 520 you know, we, we'd go from 520 down to $5 to 490 and then it rips back up. It's like so much seesaw and just chop that's coming within the candlesticks, you know, definitely within the level two. And if you're using that 15 second chart, it'll be a little bit more obvious. I mean, even here on the one, even look at the, look at the three minute, right? You know, it, it flushes down, it rips up, it flushes down, it rips up and then topping wick, topping wick comes down, rips up flushes down it curls up flushes down goes up flushes down you know like and then finally flushes down and then you know even like, a, like candlesticks like this for example like from a low of 630 to a high of 675 then flushes down like just a lot of craziness man so the momentum right now you know it's like we got to take what we can get and be grateful that we're even seeing opportunities but you know, it's not ideal, and it, it never really will be ideal. You know, being I, ideal is rare. I, ideal, I felt, was this BWEN on this move up right here. This, I felt, was ideal. This three-bar play and this high of day push. This, I felt, was very smooth momentum for what I like, and that was literally just two candles out of the day. Two minutes out of an entire day. And we'll talk about this move and why I didn't capitalize Man, what a rough, rough start to this day. Today should have been a $2,000 day, guys. Um, man, frustration, disappointment, a lot of emotions was mixed in today. But we kept our composure. We stayed disciplined. And there's a lot of victory in that, right? And there's a lot of good things from that. Uh, because if we didn't stay cool, calm, and collected, we were not uh, going to finish this day in the green. So the day starts off and I'm watching this stock, right? I believe we were watching something else, but it's it sold off. So we switched over quickly. You know, I'm, I'm watching at it. One minute candle to make the new highs at 67. My first couple of trades came early, man, on this thing. My first couple of trades came super, super early. And I just was not holding my trades long. I wasn't giving them a chance. 
I wasn't giving them a chance and, and you know it was an issue because the thing actually was strong and all I needed to do was hold 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 break of 67 I'm in I only took three cents it skips up I'm back in a little higher I'm all flat needed to give the trade if I held for 10 seconds any of these trades we would have been up six seven hundred in the first five minutes of that move you know instead we botched it we completely completely botched it and uh it was not good you know but i did make the adjustment i did get in the groove of holding longer and unfortunately by the time it, it came around for me to uh capitalize on this move i'm going to show you guys my level two from today let's look at this um let's look at this man this was a disaster Let's see, what's today's date? Today's the 11th, today's the 11th. And I think it should be this one. How many times did I stop the live stream? Is it this one? Okay, I think it is this one. Look at BWEN, right hand side, All right? Let's look at this big green candle that's gonna happen. Just look at my level two and how, and how clunky Look at how clunky it looks right here, right? So let's keep watching. Once again, the right hand side. So it's pushing up a little bit. It's, you know, slow and steady. It's going to get ready to uh, give a nice move. Why did the, why in the world did the time go back, man? What the hell? I definitely did not click on zero. Okay, right here. I am losing it. I need to get some sleep. Let's go back a little bit more. Okay, I think this is pretty good. So, BWEN, here we go. Look at how my level two is going to fail me here. Absolute madness. So it's getting ready for this breakout. 97 is the high. I'm watching it closely here. I'm watching it like a hawk, waiting patiently. Quick dip to 82, it's right back up. Seems like it's firm. Right here, I should have been throwing shares out just to see. Um, should have been a little bit more aggressive. You see how there's a buyer and then it comes down, right? So there's a buyer. Hold up. I'm going to have to pause. Well, you know, we'll let it play. Let's let it play. You see how, you see how my ass you see how my ass price is um like look at this, right? I know I'm saying I'm going to let it play and then I pause it immediately. Right? So th this is this is a problem. This is a problem. 98 by 93. 98 by 93. Right, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, then it's gonna happen again. This is where it, I would have needed to be to be buying. Right, so let's watch. It's about to it's about to go crazy here. You see this? You see this right here? It's hitting 405, 406. But my ass price is still showing 97. And a lot of the times it's hitting 410 right now. A lot of the times in order for me to buy I need to see the ass price move up and this thing was was stuck here at 97 and and then now my bid price is at 410 it's not 98 it, it just man this is I got robbed here I'm, I'm telling you guys I'm telling you guys man I would not have missed this trade I would have not have I wouldn't have missed this trade for nothing man and at least, even if I did, at least give me a fair chance. Like, let me miss it because of my own fault or something, you know? <sighs> and by the time it's, like, working, it's already at 14, 418, you know? And I see this buyer here. I'm like, man, I'm trying to buy it at 95, 4, 405. I, I can't possibly buy it here. I could have been back in for 30. See, it's like it, it's all about being in a groove. And, and there was no chance for me to get a groove here. Just, just man, I don't even want to look at that, man. 
It hurts my soul to see that. It hurts my soul to see that, man. Like, what are the odds that I somehow have weird level 2 lag randomly like that? You know, and then shortly after, this is where we are going to take some losses. Um, LIPO resumed. Which one resumed first? BWEN resumed first. I did watch it this move up, but... And this is a perfect example to show you guys the spreads. LIPO, let's go back. So LIPO is going to start to move right after this one gets halted. So look at the spreads here, right? Look at LIPO in the middle here. Let's see how this one does. And my, and my head might be in the way, by the way. Oh, no, it looks like it's good. 19 by 27. Tightens up a little bit, and this is what this this is you know some if you're watching at it early and you're, you're you're seeing that build up, the volume is still light, but that would have probably been the best place you know 18, 20, 25. So I start to see it right here around 40, it hits 58, 60. But well, you see how that nine cent spread, 45, 41, eight cent spread. It makes it hard to buy in aggressively when the bits are just dropping out like that you know so that was a quick micro pullback right there there's 43 that should that that should have been a, a area where i could have been aggressive you know but i'm a little too concerned about the spreads and instead of being in mid 40s i missed this trade and boom 77 there's the halt you know so you gotta go for it you just gotta take the entries you gotta be aggressive uh, and you can't let the spread scare you off, which I did try to do with the other one, but you know, to no to no prevail, right? No luck, no follow through. Coming out of the recording, so I missed this big green candle, but I was able to get entries on these bottoming wicks, I believe. My show trades are not coming up. Let's try that again. Yeah, I got. I think I got something on the bottoming wicks here and there. I want to say, or was it later in the day that I caught opportunities? Oh no, yeah, right on these uh, bottoming wicks. So you know, we caught a few trades, and we were already slightly green from earlier, so that did help. That was basically B W E N. I mean, this was a beautiful move. Not not the move you should ever be missing. For those of you who are new to the Discord, you know, welcome. It's great to see you guys. It's great to have you guys in there. You know, be sure to uh, engage and stay connected. You know, even right now, as it's 4 p.m., we still have people chatting it up and, you know, posting different stuff, talking about entries. And, yeah, so, you know, be sure to stay connected. Be sure to stay in tune. It's currently 5.10. And, and you know, so we still have people... Um, uh, chatting and discussing and things like that. LASE, on the other hand, LASE, this one started to move a little bit later in the morning. A nice breakout here over 336. It rips up. I started watching at it. The volume was a little lighter at first, but I'm paying attention. We got a nice pullback here. I'm attacking the pullback. First one minute candle makes the new height 52. I'm in. Taking trades, scalping throughout this range. It dips down again, another move up, a bit of a three bar play. And it pulls back, it has a bigger pullback. I tried to buy the five, the one minute setup here, it doesn't work. And I ultimately took the five minute pullback in at 56 after this bottom here at 52. 52 my stop, it breaks below 52, I'm out at 50. It chops me out, it bottom wicks here from 48 and rips up. This was a longer hold trade for me, and I got chopped out. But it was a beautiful move, beautiful move, up to 412. But, you know, we did make money. We did make money. We scalped a little bit here, going a, a higher, and we saw something, right? So throughout this entirety, uh, and throughout the entirety of this move, we got some good stuff. What else? LIPO. We are unfortunately red on this one. Uh, and so, you know, we had that, that huge red to green, A, B, C, D. This is a beautiful A, B, C, D, actually. You know, giving back profits here in at 35 out of 28. This wasn't good. 
But as it curled up, we attempted trades, the resumption, the dip and rip, no follow through. We're in at 94, we take a loss. It does try to curl up here. We're back in at 84, out at 89 for a small gain. Let's see how these trades are looking. Oh yeah, wait, was this this one? There was a partic there was a trade. There was another trade I want to review from the from the live stream. I think it might have been on on uh was it on BWEN? Yes, at ten ten. Let's pull that back up and then we'll shut it down. Nine fifty-two, fifty-eight, oh five, seven, oh nine. So watch this B W E N. So I'm I'm watching at it and it's like you know it's looking strong. So I'm thinking, can we see a, a bottoming wick and a curl back over the highs here if we break down below twenty-eight? Right, because we've been seeing some really good support high high twenties, mid twenties, low twenties. So I'm watching at it. Do I fast forward for time? Maybe. Okay. So it breaks down 24. We got a low, uh, I might even seeing the low there, but I think 24, 23, it starts to curl. I'm like, okay. We might be seeing a bear trap here, so I'm taking the long. Look at how well it starts to, to, to resolve here. So I'm in at 33. I'm going to add here. Look at that buyer. My ad was not terrible, right? My ad was at 46. Let's see where that buyer came in. The buyer was at 48. Well, actually, no, looks, looks like this was terrible. So I was already up 140, right, which is great. Yep, it looks like, hold on, it's, it's so hard to, to gauge this. I'm going to have to try and pause. And it seems like these, the shares were getting, so it was 20,046. It seems like these shares were getting filled. Yep, they were getting filled. But it's crazy because there's a lot of green going through. And there's my order. Coming at 47, 49. I thought we were I thought we were taking off here, man. I thought 60, 70 hive day. And in the blink of an eye, you know, we hit 60, we do. And in the blink of an eye, and look at this. Thinkorswim, Thinkorswim didn't even fill me yet. You know, isn't that crazy? I bought it 47, 48, 49. If, even I if, see why you. Even if they filled me, not that I'm looking back, because I was wondering you know, why is my fill 46? If, and you know, I checked this already, it is 46, right? How's my fill 46? If the buyer was at 46 and green came and then I bought after, so I didn't get filled until it started dropping. And this is something that happened to me two weeks ago where a nice move, a nice setup was happening. I bought nothing, nothing, nothing. It goes up 10 cents. And then once it starts to flush, then they fill me and then I take a losing trade. So no fill. Just this is ridiculous, man. It's well okay, hold on. It looks like it's showing it now. I'm not sure what in the world is happening here. Unless it's just delayed to actually show on screen. But I find that hard to believe. When the green pops up, so there's 48. For okay, okay, makes sense. So as I'm as I'm buying, there's 45. Okay, so the fill makes sense, okay. All right, not bad for Thinkorswim, not bad. But then immediately as I'm in, you know, 45, 37, it is already back down. You know, isn't that something? Isn't that something else, man? Jeez. I tell you, these stocks are brutal, man. So we got to be safe. We got to... You know, continue to continue to watch ourselves and, you know, continue to pay attention, continue to navigate and see if we can't, you know, 
get it done. So tomorrow's going to be another day, and tomorrow we got to try, you know, our best to stay disciplined and follow through with our rules, our game plan, and hopefully we can end up on the right side of momentum and be green. This is a 25-minute, this is like a 28-minute recap. Jeez Louise. All right, guys, that'll do it. It's been RT, and I am, of course, hit that thumbs up, you know, if you're a new viewer, and yeah. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be live at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. I am, of course, signing out.